All right, welcome everyone. We're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we're here for Monthly, Monthly Girls, Girls Nozaki Gun, episode, episode nine. nine. All right. <sighs> Aren't these characters our, wonderful? We had our wonderful, wonderful uh, couple. Not couple, mm -hmm. but also That's couple. That's right. Totally. totally a couple. Mm -hmm. And their yeah, feelings episode. were, in fact, communicated rather, well, I mean, not mm. truly directly, but no. rather clearly. As close as we're ever going to get for mm. any kind of couple communication in this Exactly. Story. Hori let Kashima ride him. Yeah. Yes. Uh-huh. In fact, like, like... He bore her quite dutifully. Yeah. You said, Hori let Kashima ride him. Yes, indeed. She, you mean he rode Kashima? Wait. No, no. <laughs> I get it. It's Wait. the gayest straight Hold couple on. there Hold ever on. could be. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Point is... <laughs> <laughs> what is gender? What Wait. is, what are the confines of that? Right, right, right. The bull, the bull was Kashima. Hori... Oh. Wait, was it Kashima? Right. Or was it Hori? I thought it was no, Hori. No, 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 no. Kashima. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yes, that's yes. right. <laughs> See? Because this show just keeps. No, keeps no us on boundaries. Our toes. That's no, right. No limitations. Yep. Mm -hmm. Love is love and let each other. Let, let love happen. Yeah. Let, let it happen. Just bulldoze your way mm -hmm. right through into the hearts of the exactly. one. Exactly. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Be a prince and let your horse ride you. <laughs> That's right. God damn it. God damn why it. not? Why not? Yeah. yeah. So, y'all, without further ado, <laughs> let's get into this. Uh, uh, oh, too bad. I forgot mine, too. Catch <laughs> 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 on quick. Two dunces. <laughs> she was trying to set it up and everything. Uh -huh. She's like... We'll get that cliche romantic no. moment there where we share an umbrella. But uh, watch, it anyway, was actually bump shoulders, something, you know. Right. But it was actually something where Nozaki also was trying to set it up. Exactly, yeah. Darn. Yeah. No, that's not it. That's not it. Sure, sure. <laughs> but it's efficient. <laughs> How can you resist such an offer? I <laughs> like a snail! I get it! <laughs> now they're hidden inside the shell. <laughs> Is Nozaki waxing romantic? That kind of manga. Yeah. That's depressing. Yep. Oh, I didn't notice that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like it's like I mean, he could hold it. Her arms Just a little tired. bit of crosswind and she'd be getting soaked. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Tani-chan <laughs> Oh, 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 <laughs> He's still gonna be spelling it on her head. Very nice scene. Three, two, one. No. Oh. Yeah. Oh, this is a mm -hmm. memory that will stick forever. Yeah. In her mind, at least. I mean, who knows? Oh, 
No, girl, don't hope. Don't hope. <笑>洗濯物干しっぱなしだったこと思い出して。それより制服まで濡れちゃったな。脱いだ方がいいんじゃないか。ふふふふ。ふふふ。ふふふ。ふふふ。ふふふ。ふふふ。ふふふ。
He's gonna love it. He's going to love it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not even surprised! I just love oh, yeah. his voice acting! Uh -huh. His voice acting is so good! Wait, wait, that's 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 Nozaki! Yep. <laughs> Perfect response. Yes, a normal manga. Kigurumi mo kite nai shi. Yoroshiku onegai shimasu. Yoroshiku onegai shimasu. Jikai wa skoshi fushii na episode ni shiyou ka to omotte. Naru hodo. Nichijou banashi ni skoshi spice o te yatsu desu ka? Mazu, uchiu jin ga tenkou shite kimasu. Spice dokoro jane yo. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, to go on shin wo. Shoujo manga ra shiku. Parasco seijin no gaiken wa ikemen desu. Chikyu jin to no sato itta ra. ひとより少し持てます。ただの テンション高くないか。鈴木書いてやるから、それと交換しないか。やだ。マミコ。マミコもつけてやるから。He's実は今度、前野さんに今時の女子高生を主役にしてくださいって言われたんだけど、どんな会話するのかわからなくて。ブランドが超高くて、マジ金ないっていうか、こんな感じなのかな。モブキャラの力を借りちゃうんだけど。モ
Yeah. Because that's the thing I don't know. Is mm-hmm. the are, is the editor scene something where um, Jump, for instance, mm-hmm. has a group of editors that they work with, like a big, massive section of their company that's so. just editors? Or do they hire out editors basically on contracts oh. to do like specific manga? And it's like, all right, now you enter into a three year yeah. contract. Right. I would with, think I know, would think the editors here. would be the would be the recurring staff, you know, that they It would make sense, mm-hmm. but then they would be so busy. Like if you think oh, about sure. it, in order to make an editor like that actually uh, viable on a financial level, especially when manga is not necessarily something that's going to be mega successful Mm -hmm. and you still need an editor for every single one right they might be working on multiple projects at a time in fact a lot of projects at a time yeah and probably they have no attachment to any of them in the beginning so it's the idea of there being this cold hard reality of ken right you you have your five people that are making you manga and you're like okay you know just manage those different irons in the fire and hope they turn out something good right but also think about it this from this standpoint is that a publisher if they're the ones with the editors then Mm -hmm. the editors all start to blend the stories a little bit together and because they're working for a publisher things get a bit homogenized and then the genre is kept intact basically because the editors basically corral the outsiders from going too far from the you know right designated brand and and from what i have the 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 uh, the thing that I hear a lot whenever I have talked to editors is mm-hmm. that one of the biggest, like, roles that they, they fill is not just quality assurance, right? Right. But basically, mediating between the publishing company's needs for the works and then the art, the the auteur, right, that wants to be able to make a story and, and make it be, like, sure. a good material and all and, that and stuff. And that's why, on some level, I think it would be weird to have all the editors be ones that work at the publishing company. Hmm, okay. I feel like, on some level, you'd want you but you wouldn't want every single editor like have some people be freelance and stuff or yeah so you keep that little bit of something that bit of communication there otherwise maybe it's just a streamlined process mm -hmm. i don't know it's but yeah but at the very least i don't know how then my would or would um, exist is it my no yeah yeah Uh yeah the other editor he is ass backwards and and this is this horrible it's one of those things where it makes me wonder how much of this is played up for the comedy right you know Mm -hmm. taking something that maybe is like a real is definitely a real thing and then exaggerating it and it becomes a funny gag versus the no it actually gets this bad like i could i could see it being something where the whole tanuki thing is actually like something that an editor did and it's like the they you know and it turned into the laughing stock of the company you know whether whether it was because the the uh, mangaka became the laughing stock or the editor did because it's like holy shit why are these tanuki in here everywhere right sure you know because for some reason i don't know they just thought it was cute or cool or whatever and then they shoehorned it in somehow and you know the mangaka who's like maybe an upstart or something like that doesn't mm-hmm. know how to actually negotiate for themselves and like you know the editor kind of like decides their career and so oh i guess this is my lot in life you know right like i could see that happening I could see that happening too. I also just realized they showed a couple shots of Ken's office and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And the fact that Mayano came over and just saw what they were working on. Yeah. So basically they work in the same office. At the right. Least. So yeah. it's more likely that they're, that, that they're all they're in the part same of, company, the part of the company. Well, and yeah. also how many potential editors there are. Yes. Right. Because you know, just cubicle space. Right. And there could yeah. be a ton of people there. Right. Like a hundred. Yeah. Yep. Especially if it's something where they are just say just working with the one project, but probably a lot more. Yeah. But yeah. Wow. Mm-hmm. Um. Really, really like I would say simple episode. Not. Yeah. I would say one of my favorites. I would Me say neither. This one was probably one of the more forgettable ones in terms of. Yeah. Like, I I actually did completely forget that this episode was like mm-hmm. that it existed yeah. because the the whole idea of Nozaki having like a like a next door neighbor well yeah the umbrella that's stuff the, probably the one skit that I think I'm yep, gonna remember that that the umbrella bit I love mm-hmm. um I thought that was really good but like the whole the whole idea of there are people that are in his industry right I like it when he talks about you know Kensan his editor right mm-hmm. yeah. and the occasional interactions with you know the the neighbor sure but the whole like Mayano shtick and joke. It's one that doesn't really land for me. It's more of like the, oh God, like that. That must be horrible. That must be horrible. And it must be really funny to those that are in the manga industry because they're like, ah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. And, and the thing is, is that like, for me, it's something that was funny for me, like at the beginning, you know, when it's like introduced, but then after sure. that, it's just like, nope, no, yeah, I just awful. Mm, it's triggering. <sighs> but yeah, Miyako's uh, college uh, friends, 
thinking that she has a long distance boyfriend right because of the stuff that she's writing for her manga mm-hmm. that ends up being basically the equivalent of like love letters or, yeah, or, or well, yeah no, it looks just, like love letters but well, yeah yeah but it's it's note taking basically mm-hmm. that she's doing for the next chapter or what have you right and then they translate it in their minds to what it is because it's funny she doesn't actually show she's not shown in the episode ever telling them anything about this nope. this is the, the other girls just gossiping and right reading between the lines if you will <laughs> yeah. of, of what she's actually doing mm-hmm. but then the idea of like ah yes mm, yes all the bowing and stuff of yes i'll get it to you on time absolutely yes yes oh. and they're like oh debt collectors <laughs> right what's going on or what have you oh degenerate lifestyle <laughs> it's mm-hmm. just like yep. yes yes still More holding communication exactly even from the characters that, that aren't are named. completely non-characters you know, yeah tertiary characters off of a tertiary character yeah yeah, yeah exactly yeah yep. um, that was fun uh, but yeah, we still got Hori and Kashima having a little bit there. That's true. The uh, shield wall of, of umbrellas was was <laughs> yeah. hilarious. That was, that was pretty wonderful. Yeah, and yeah. just instantly hooking Kashima from in there and just, nope, yoinking her out. Like, Lance is in, yep. twists, and then falls. And it's just like, the He's way, done this many times. The way Kashima is just like dragged there behind, just like, oh, yep. no. And and I I absolutely hold it to be, you know, headcanon and potentially mm. canon implied that Kashima hasn't brought an umbrella to school in a long, a long, long, long time. time. <laughs> yep, for for obvious reasons. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But it's actually her genius ploy because she gets enwrapped in the shield wall, and then Hori comes along, pulls her out of it, and then hey, what do you know? They're they walking an home together, sharing an umbrella. Truly, Giga Brain Five Head Strap uh, with the big brain plays. Yep. All right, and uh, yeah, we pretty much some, it for this episode. Yeah, or? we had some pretty cute stuff with Nozaki and mm-hmm. uh, Sakura, and yeah. uh, for the most part, yeah, it was pretty cool. A little but, bit more uh, from inside Nozaki's head, weirdly enough, actually. This yeah, episode. the other the other yeah. bit that I did really love from this episode is after the umbrella scene mm-hmm. with them being at his apartment, right? And it's like, oh well, maybe you should you know take off those clothes. And she's like, wait, what? <laughs> But I don't have any. I don't have a, a change to put out on. The sailor uniform he brings out the sailor uniform because yes. let's get those callbacks from a long time ago and be like, oh yeah, by the way, mm-hmm. I uh, pose time. Pose time, yeah. Model mm-hmm. for me. <laughs> yep. I mean, like for some people, that might be like, oh, you want to model mm-hmm. for you? Oh, maybe. Yeah, yeah, is it yeah. is it utilitarian? Uh, you, you know, maybe one hundred percent. Yeah. But with Nozaki, that might be the best that you're gonna get. That might be it. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Who knows? I mean, uh, eventually he might write, you know, something a little more erotic, and you oh might my. need to uh, you might need to uh, simulate some things mm. there. Yeah, know? do some research with him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes, mm. yes, intimately. But yeah, <laughs> y'all, thank you so much for watching this episode's reaction and discussion. If you want to see the next episode's reaction and discussion right now, though, go check out the link in the description below for our Patreon. You can get an early access there. You can watch full-length timer reactions there, and all this comes with Discord access. You can chat with us in the community there about this show about anime in general, and also be sure to check out our Twitch channel. We stream every weekday. The info's in the description. Yeah, so if any of that interests you, we'll see you there. But until then, we're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we'll see you all next time. time.